Hey all, I hope everyone is doing well, healthy and enjoying work from home. This session is depend on network security, basic definitions of network security and basic concepts we are going to study in this session. The first question is always arise, what is a security? What is human security? What is computer security? What is network security? All are same or different. Before doing any comment, first we have to understand what is a human security, what is a computer security and what is network security. Human security means people are storing their documents, their money in a locker. If I want to, people are storing their money, confidential files in locker. And we want a security for this or we want a security for whom. So this is a human security, first security that we want in a life. Now, as the era change, now people are storing their personal files, mail, company data, passwords, everything on a PC, laptop or desktop. So we need a computer security to protect this files. Now think that if I want to do a shopping, then I'm just opening an app from my phone. It is connected to internet and I am doing shopping. If I want to attend some video lectures for my education or any extra knowledge, I am just opening internet from my phone or laptop. Mails, I am checking from internet. Then my phone is connected to internet. My laptop is connected to internet. What is the next question? That we want a network security or we want a internet security. Otherwise, whatever I am doing on my personal work is going to be stolen by any hacker and that can be missing. So what are the major changes and challenges for security? The first and very important thing is that storing data on computer. Whatever we are doing, everything is stored on your computer. So it needs a automated tools for protecting files and other information, antivirus, firewall, windows defender. Now what is the next challenge? The next and very important challenge is your phone, PC or computer. Normally we are using a public public telephone network or Wi-Fi or wherever we are going, we are using those networks. So this is a major problem or challenge for security that you are exposing to some external environment. So what is the difference between computer security and network security? Computer security is introduced because of storing data on computer. So the generic name for collection of tools designed to protect data and that to throttle first. So this is nothing but a computer security or definition of computer security. Now what is the definition or what is the need of a network security? That introduction of distributed system. What is the meaning of that? Virtually all businesses, governments, academic organizations are interconnected their data processing equipment to internet. Means if anyone told you that download your Aadhaar card. So actually that government website is available on internet and you are doing your work. So we need network security. Otherwise, my personal information is available to hackers. Internet security. Internet security is a collection of interconnected network that is a www and if you observe these two, network security and internet security, so there are no clear boundaries between network security and internet security. That means when we are studying network security, actually we have to study internet security also. I hope now there is no doubt between a computer security, network security and internet security. This is very first example that how your security is in trouble. The first there are some people those are executing a program which is going to stolen your password. Okay? Then there are some criminals those are going to generate a spam and because of that they are stolen your credit card information. To protect our data system administrators are there. There are some scripts but when those attacks are successful then your data is going well on a website and people are earning money from that. Second example is if a customer is having a account on a stock broker and because of security issue his account is giving an instruction or various instruction about the investment and because of that he can lost a value. When customer denies sending a message that 
इट्स नॉट मी सम वन इज डूइंग टिल दैट टाइम हिज इन्वेस्टमेंट कॉस्ट इज जीरो नाउ वॉट आर द रीजन्स इंटरनेट सिक्योरिटी इज फैसिनेटिंग एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स सो फर्स्ट रीजन इज दैट सिक्योरिटी इन्वॉल्विंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड नेटवर्क इज नॉट एज सिंपल as it appears the first question is when i am doing a communication or when i am doing a networking actually i am connecting various hardware and software so we are using 5g 4g that means the network itself is a complex to so developing a particular mechanism security mechanism or algorithm is a very complex when we are working with such networks now the third question is which procedures is has to follow for a particular services and who is going to take the decision that where to use which security mechanism then very important question is your protocol information security key distribution delay in transmit so these are the reasons and because of that internet security is fascinating and complex also next question what is the difference between services mechanism and attack so security attack means any action that compromises the security of information owned by an organization this is nothing but a definition of security attacks this your information or organization information is compromised in any sense this is nothing but a security attack now what is a security mechanism security mechan mechanism is designed to detect prevent or recover from a security attack This is nothing but a tool, method, or procedure for enforcing a security policy. Now, third is a security services to enhance the security of data processing system and information transfer of an organization. It's security services. It is using one or more security mechanism. And last one is security policy. Security policy is a statement of what is and what is not. allowed in your organization or in a network and which is properly mentioned according to rfc 2828 there is a difference between threat and attack so what is a threat a potential or violation of security which exist when there is a circumstances capability action or event that could breach security and cause harm this is a definition of a threat or in a simple word it is a possible danger that might exploit a vulnerability now what is a attack if this is a threat then what is a attack attack is a, an assault on system security that drives from an intelligent threat and because of that your security policy is violated in a system so this is a difference between threat and attack now we are aware about the policy security attack threat where we are going to implement it that this is implemented on osi security architect so itu telecommunication standardization sector coordinate standards for telecommunication and information communication technology it recommend x800 security architecture for osi it is defined such as systematic approach so in the next lecture we are going to find out what is this x800 security architecture and what are the types of attacks thank you